Have you ever watched The History of Tea, Saturday Night Live, Martin Short on David Letterman, The Story of African Elephants, or an old Technicolor pirate adventure, where the main color is always red? If you answered yes to some or all of these questions, chances are you spent some time in a motel or a hotel. With us now is Dr. Einstein and Jonathan Brewster sharing your experience somewhere in the Carolinas. All right, get the bags out of the car. Which ones? I only have three here. Why do we only have... Th we were supposed to have four. What happened? Don't you remember? We left the last bag at the last hotel. Oh, right. The Super 8 Hotel. And Super, it wasn't. Just get what bags we have left, huh? Yes, Johnny. If this doesn't look bad, comforting. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Hello, can we get a room for... Oh, oh, you're helping someone else on the phone, I see. Well, I came all the way in here, so if you don't mind, I thought you could see it my way. Yes, we'd like to stay here for one night, please. Yes, the both of us. Yes, separate beds, non-smoking, please. Johnny, not now. But Johnny, was it not or now that you didn't understand? But Johnny, I, I don't mind a smoking room. Yeah, well, they're gonna set us up any... Hey, yeah, hi. You're helping me, remember? Not the person next to me, me. That's better. Oh, well, I don't know. Why don't you make yourself useful and go outside and check the numbers on the back of the license plate? Yes, Johnny. Oh, numbers and letters? Yes, the license plate numbers, start to finish. Yes, Johnny. On the back of the front of the car. They're the same. The front and the back. All right, $85, was it? All right. Do you have a pen? Excuse me. Do you have a pen for writing? Thank you. Yep, that's us. Smith and Jones. Well, Dr. Jones. Excuse me, is this the key? Really? All right. One moment. Did you get the license plate number? Yes, but I was a little held up. It's a biker weekend. Where? Outside. Oh, great. I'm gonna be up all night playing that rock music. There goes my sleep. What am I paying for? To be kept up all night? Insomnia is running pretty pricey these days, don't you think? I thought you said it was 85. Oh, well, forgive me. I didn't know that you were having a celebration this weekend. I would have called ahead had I had a phone. No, that isn't your fault. I understand. All right, 95 here. Give me the license plate number. I think I must have dropped it. Outside in the dirt. I'll go look. I'll be right back. <sighs> Hmm? Yeah, it's pleasant weather we're having. Yeah. Sun was out all day. Hurry up. What's that? When did it rain? Really? Oh, interesting. Oh, thank God. Here you go. Here's the license plate number. I don't know. What kind of car is it? Do you know Dr. Jones? What? What's the make of the car? I think it's a Subaru. Subaru. A Subaru what? Go look. The Subaru's fine. We're parked right out front. You can look through the window faster. Mm, boy. What did she say? Uh, she hoped we had a pleasant stay. Aren't they supposed to say that afterwards? Yeah, you're right. Oh, here, wait. Starved. Let's get something out of this vending machine. That's the ice maker. <laughs> I was wondering why the dime wouldn't go in. In what? There's not even a slot. Uh, what do you want? You want a, a Kit Kat, a Snickers, what, a Kit Kat? That's perfect. That way we can split it. Oh, but I'd rather have an Almond Joy. Which side do you want? Please don't turn this into a commercial. Can you just get us the Kit Kat bar, huh? It's, uh, B3. That's B2. Huh. All right. Red John's jerky. I'll just have to do it. Here's your piece. Hey, Johnny. Eat it, or you're going in the vending machine. Before. Before what? Why do I even bother? All right, give me the key. No, I have it. Wait, where's the key? I don't. We know. left it down at the receptionist, didn't we? No, Johnny, it's sticking out of your pocket there. Here it is. How do it? Is it supposed to turn green? Yeah, it's supposed to open the door. I don't know. Try it again. Flip it around. Flip it around there. There we go. Oh, this isn't a bad room. Johnny, what's this stain over here? I don't know. Whatever it is, they got hey, here Johnny, first. Look, the bathroom's nice and spacious. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Well, comfort in. The uh, cockroaches seem to be very comfortable. <laughs> right. Oh, look at this, Johnny. Complimentary a shampoo, conditioner, and uh, and soap. See, there, isn't that nice? That's yeah, lovely. I'm all a flutter. Well, listen, while you're checking under the bed for their life forms, I'm going to try and work the TV. All right. Check out those pillows good. I saw the hotel manager. <laughs> what's that? Johnny. I am busy. Can't you see me? The remote in my hand right now. Two feet away from you. Oh, Johnny, I think you should come look at this. Ah, uh-huh. Oh, well, that just means we're sleeping on the floor. Unfolded shirts. Yes, Johnny. I brought my own pillow, though. Wonderful. All right, what's this? Power button? You cable? What? You press cable? I think the power has to go on first. Uh, Johnny, you want me to try? Yeah, I'll try for you. No, Johnny, I have it. There we go. A nice nature program. Yeah, that's great. Penguins are wonderful, but I'd like to see what the weather is going to be tomorrow. Hopefully this isn't the weather channel, seeing as there are penguins. No, it should still be pretty warm. Let me check. Uh, the weather is usually a lesser channel. Oh, that's right. Animal planets in the 50s, and then the weather's what? Ten and a half or something? There we go. Okay. 82, 81, 80. It's going down. You figured that out, eh, Einstein? Just get, get out of my way, huh? I need room. You were looking at the beds. Could you finish? I think I've finished all I want to see. Well, will you be useful and go, I don't know, look at the map for tomorrow or something? No, wait. Don't touch anything. I'll do it with you. Oh! 
I've never seen anyone trip over a microwave before. You keep it off and low to the ground. Yeah, I know, you have to squat to heat up your coffee in the morning. Is there a hair dryer in this joint? I can go look. Yeah, could you do that, please? Thanks. Alright, I'm out of my hair. Alright, let's see this map here. Going down to South Carolina from the Uncomfort um, Inn. I'm going to Society Hill, blah, blah, blah. Spring Hill, Woodfield. Where's grassland? Are we going by any national parks? No, we aren't stopping to take pictures of not rare birds at national parks. Besides, I'm not fishing you out of a well again. The boardwalk wasn't sturdy enough. Yeah, well, you're a little too sturdy. You need to knock out those breakfast donuts. Which reminds me, where's the accommodations list? It's usually by the phone. Here, let me see here. Here it is. Continental breakfast, a one-night stay, two beds, yes. Yes, and lights to match. Hair dryer. Oh, see, sis, the hair dryer right here. Microwave. Will you read the breakfast menu, please? Orange juice, bagels, toast, apple juice, hot coffee. So bread and juice, basically. Oh, no, wait, they say eggs. Hard boiled. Aren't we all? Yeah, we go through a couple national parks, but I'm not interested in that. Where's the blow-by-blow -blow instructions? Um, let me see. I think I folded it up and left it in the glove compartment. I hope you mean of your coat. Oh, yes, I... Here it is. That's amazing, Johnny. Do you have x-ray vision? No, just wishful thinking. All right, let's see here. Head south toward McConnell Road. Follow US 15 south, I-20 west, I-77 south. Wow, really? Only those three? They couldn't tack on another highway before we get there? Fish Hatchery Road in Casey. All right, that's interesting. Take exit one. Two hours and 820 miles. That's nice. pretty far. Normally I would say that isn't that far, but with you. Follow Fish Hatchery Road to your destination. Great. That should take 15 minutes. Well, which is it? Two hours and eight minutes or 15? I don't understand. No, it's both. It's They're two separate directions. Yes, but they're both on Fish Hatchery Road. Yeah, I know, but there, there's a turn in there somewhere. I don't know. No, you, you take an exit. Will you quit confusing me and just go do anything else away from me? I can always call the front desk for food. <laughs> That uh, jerky didn't sit very well with me. No, yeah, me neither. You and your almond joy. Here's a number. It's just press one or two, right? Which was it, Johnny? Was it one or two for front desk? Oh, no, she didn't tell me. She didn't? Didn't I just say that? Yes, but you know. What, you thought I was lying or something? Here, let's try three. You don't have to shout. No, actually, I do. Here, give me the phone. Just give me the phone. What should I do now? I'm not your camp organizer. Yes, Johnny. You always agree with me after you've done something. So it's right after. Never be before. Hello? Yeah, is there any place we can eat around here? Dinner, you know. Haha, <laughs> that's very amusing. I know it's late. Some all-night place, perhaps. Alright, huh? Well, that sounds rather odd. Hey, Einstein. You wanna eat somewhere called the Cowbell? Something about hamburgers, all the fixings, and free music? Yes, Johnny, that sounds quite nice. Quite nice? Well, don't set out my cufflinks. No, but I was going to press these Alright, well, hurry up. Oh, wait! Check the list! See if we have an ironing board. Is this it? It's gotta be, it's got legs. Well, so do nightstands, but that doesn't make them an ironing board. Will you just wrestle with that thing in silence? <sighs> yes, alright, the cow, that's, that sounds fine. How far away is it? One mile walk? Half a mile walk, okay, alright. Yeah, I wasn't up to hiking today, thank you. Bye. You know, John, you should really be more friendly with the people at the front desk. After all, they're responsible for us, and if we make them mad, who knows? Oh, I can't even imagine the horror. They might not bring us an extra roll of toilet paper, clean up our towels. I'm just saying. I want this stay up. Will you just wear your car pants? wrinkle all down the... That's because you were sitting all day in the car. It happens. I think the people around here will forgive you if you don't wear your hat and tails. What was that? What was what? I, know, I thought I saw something scurrying by in that dark spot in the middle of the floor. Maybe it was just the dark spot. You know, if you walk by something really fast, you can sort of see it out of the corner of your eye, and I'm stopping now. Wise decision. You want to change the thermostat before we go? It's freezing in here. I think they do that on purpose. It's a small room, you know, and you could get very hot. Will you stop pretending that this is the Hilton with a full staff of doctors and just... Turn up the temp. Yes, Johnny. It doesn't want to budge. Oh, more problems. Move aside. Remember the elbow room thing? Move aside. Stand over there in the dark spot. <sighs> yep. Okay, 72. There we go, it's set. Let's go. Get my coat. Do you really need a coat, Johnny? It's hot out well, there. I'm dying of something, all right? Just bring it, just in case. I'll throw it in the Johnny, trunk. Johnny, wait. Uh, do you think I need a coat? No, I think that would throw out the color of your no, whole look. Johnny, is it cold? I'm cold. Okay, one more time. My person has its own thermostat. When I am hot, I take a layer off. When I am cold, do I really have to explain this again? What you do, your person, your thing, make your own decision. If you're not sure, go outside. Open a window. That's a very good idea. Let me open that window. Johnny, don't, please, don't. I'll just take your word for it. Great, I'm starved. Let's go. I shouldn't have ordered so much. We didn't. We ordered a sandwich. I know, but really, it was too much. I, uh, the coleslaw and the hush puppies and the biscuits and gravy and the french fries and the baked potato. I'm about to pass out. Yeah, well, when we get in here, you can fall on the fainting couch. And maybe when you're feeling better, we can have tea on the balcony. That's a sheer drop. No, I was being sarcastic. Will you get the card key out, please? I'll tell you another thing. I regret paying with Visa. I didn't trust that person. Don't worry, Johnny. It's all taken care of. I paid. What did you think I was talking about? Just get us in, please. 
Will you open the door? I'd like to get a few fleeting seconds of sleep before I have to get up tomorrow and shower in that bird bath. That isn't working again. We're turning it the other way. The other way. The arrows go. There are no arrows on this. This is your Visa card. Oh, so I paid with this. Great. Now we're going to have to go back to the cowbell. Are you happy? Get the bags. Which ones? All of them. That's right, if you like turning on six lamps to see your hand before your face, because overhead lighting, of course, as we all know, is passe. Want to catch up on some late night reading? All you have to do is open that mysterious first drawer in the bedside bureau. There's always a Bible handy. Yeah, Johnny, wait. Staying overnight just somewhere the other way. For you. Oh, for real keys. Look, look, they have a keyhole there. Why don't they just, you know, use that? The old, you know, from long ago. This isn't Bates. I'm not asking it to be Bates. The most comfortable thing of all would be to use a key that is in the keyhole. There isn't a key in the keyhole. Let me try it the other way. Wait, it's turning green and hmm, only for a second. I think it's defective. I think you're defective. 